Katie Hopkins has become the latest in a long line to be censored by Twitter. Her account has been suspended. Uh, account of over a million followers has been suspended. Uh, and whether she'll get it back or not, I don't know. I think either scenario is possible. But why did this happen? Well, yesterday, a meeting between Rachel Riley, the host of Channel 4's Countdown and an anti-racism campaign, I'm reading from The Independent here, met Twitter representatives calling for them to review and remove Miss Hopkins' account. The meeting was organised, wait for this, the meeting was organised by the Centre for Countering Digital Hate campaign group, which called for Twitter to permanently delete the account. Quote from the Centre for Countering Digital Hate. We are pleased that preliminary action appears to have been taken by Twitter against the identity-based hate actor Katie Hopkins following productive discussions with Twitter's UK office, said the group's chief executive Imran Ahmed. <laughs> of course. Uh, so what's happening? You know, it, 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 no one should be surprised or shocked by this. We have left-wing activist groups calling their opponents hate, then lobbying the big tech giants to take down their opponents and cut off an absolutely vital uh, element of their ability to communicate with the public. Uh, we know that the tech giants are dominated by the left wing. And we know that they see nothing at all wrong with cutting off or shutting down their opponents because they are left wing and that's the left wing thing to do. Heaven forbid they should engage in any debate but censor and silence. And the way they do it, they call their opponents hate mongers. It's as old as totalitarianism itself. So this is why For Britain is going the direction that we are going in, which is standing for election. Come this May, we will be putting candidates in local seats to speak directly to the people. And there's nothing that the corrupt press or big tech can do about it. This is the future for parties like ours. In fact, there is no party like ours. But anyone who wants to speak against the orthodoxy, the status quo, this imprison, this, this, this prison we're in, this thought prison, this expression prison that we are currently living in. If you want to fight back against that, you can't do it on social media. They're going to shut you down. You use your democracy like we intend to do. This is our platform standing for election and Katie I hope that you get your Twitter account back uh, but I also hope that if you don't you'll consider doing something else uh, and maybe stand for election yourself that's how to hit them back that's the only thing that worries the corrupt politicians that are delighted by this the Labour Party loves this stuff and I don't see the Tories making too much noise about freedom of speech either. So let's fight back democratically at the ballot box and hit them where it hurts. Ooh.